There is no question season four is the resurgence of Diablo 4, by far being the best season since the release almost a year ago. Now, D4 has had its fair shares of ups and downs, more bad than good, if we are being honest. Many counting this game out, only a small few giving it one last shot to change. During the first three seasons, Diablo 4 was hanging on a thread, one bad season after another, with a little glimmer of hope provided with season two, but all thrown away with the disastrous season three. But prior to season four, there was a shift. The devs started listening, and after months of complaining, Balanet players were given a PTR to fully test the up and coming mechanic changes for season four. The PTR not only represented a mind shift in how things were done in the past, but it gave an opportunity for the players and game developers a platform to collaborate. We are two weeks into season four and all signs point to a resurgence. As the memes change from D4 bad to D4 good, what caused this shift? Why is season four so popular? In this video, we're gonna review the best parts of Diablo 4 and what potentially could be the season that turns everything around for this storied franchise. I hope you join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, now, before we get into the details, I do wanna say one thing. Look, season four absolutely is by far the best season. I've said this many times already. And the devil is in the details. You can see the popularity and every night, on my live streams. By the way, you can catch me live on Twitch every evening. Sammy Caps is the channel name. Come and check me out, watch me play season four. However, I'm getting positive comments all the time and I've never heard so many people that are coming into my live stream say I'm new to Diablo 4. So season four is definitely the most popular, but I do wanna mention, there's a lot of good things happening in season four. However, there's still that doesn't mean, sorry, that there's still things that need to improve in season uh, in Diablo 4, sorry. There are still many things that still need to be improved. However, this video is focusing on what's making season 4 so popular. So please remember that there still is, for example, the end game lacks. There needs to be more meat on the bone and there needs to be more variety when it comes to end game. Just to mention one. So just remember that as we're going through all the good things in season four. Okay, now having gotten that out of the way, season four, what's making it so popular? Well, first things first, probably the quickest thing is the leveling. It's gotten easier to get to level 100. And what does that do? This provides all players, whether you're a casual or a tryhard, that you can hit 100 easily. That wasn't the case in prior seasons. Heck, my very first level 100 character prior to season one was a job and a half. It felt like a job and it took forever to get to level 100 prior to season one. That is, and so if you guys remember, the majority of the player base didn't even finish the campaign prior to season one. So when the game was launched, that's how hard it was to level up in the game at launch. Fast forward to season four, there are players that are getting to level 100 in under 10 hours, actually six hours. Like that's unheard of. So what does this do? This just opens up the accessibility to everyone, whether you have five hours a week or whether you have 500 hours a week, is that possible? You get my point. You are gonna hit 100 in season four. So that is a big, big W and is appealing to a lot of the player base. Now in season four, appropriately named Loot Reborn, the number two reason why season four is so popular, because loot matters. And in an ARPG, any ARPG, sorry, worth talking about requires the loot to matter. And in D4, that was not the case 
prior to season four. The loot in prior seasons was so complicated and convoluted. Thousands of different affixes. Damage hinged on so many variables. Which direction the wind was blowing. Was it day or night? You know, damage on Tuesday. That kind of thing. Understanding damage in D4 in prior seasons was a nightmare. And people just didn't like that. And it caused players to just say, what the? It's not Tuesday. I'm only doing damage on Tuesday. Screw this. I'm not playing the game. And, and it just left a sour taste in the players' mouths. Well, in Season 4, that all changed. And as I said, accurately named the Loot Reborn season because that is exactly what has happened loot matters in season four and because of that blizzard has reaped the rewards of their labor um loot reborn means quality over quantity and i can't think of two mechanics that really people are gravitating to and it's really put the control of loot in the player's hands, stripped away from the developer and in our hands. And that's through tempering and masterworking. Now, in the beginning of season four, masterworking was so costly. And we have since received a patch that has greatly reduced the cost of masterworking. And I do want to say both tempering and masterworking are not in ideal states. Uh, there still needs to be some tinkering with it, but it is by far provided us, the players, with two mechanics that have just put the control back in our hands when it comes to customizing builds. And it's an outlet for players to control their destiny. And this is, again, another reason why Season 4 is so popular. We are not... Although RNG will always be in any video game, especially ARPGs, there, there has been some control put back in our hands. And yes, RNG is always uh, going to be visible and in uh, ARPG, specifically in Diablo 4, but we have more control and that is appealing to a huge part of the player base. So the loot in season four is another reason why it's popular. Now I'm going to keep the list to three and an honorable mention that I'll mention after this. But if I've missed one that you believe is the main reason or one of the main reasons why season four is popular, please chime in and let me know. But the third reason why I believe season four is very popular is class diversity. Now, I, I do want to mention class diversity, it's not hitting at 100% yet because there are still slight differences between all the classes in Diablo 4. And what do I mean by that? There are clearly some front runners like OP builds. Okay. So, for example, in season four, the Necromancer, like by far, is an S tier. And there has been some shifting. If you're looking at the different tier lists on the internet, you know, Necromancer has been up there since the start of season four and is still up there. The Druid was up there and dropped. Again, this is all subjective. So take this with a grain of salt. I have not played all the classes yet. I've only played three of the five. However, uh, Necromancer by far is up there. The Barbarian is shining through again. And apparently the Rogue is mounting a surge. Uh, so unfortunately for the Sork and, you know, Druid, question mark, definitely the Sork. Now the Sork, obviously, all the builds are viable. This is why I've highlighted it as a main reason why uh, Season 4 is popular. This is the first season, I believe, that class diversity has shined uh so that's a good thing uh but it would be really nice if all five classes would all blatantly be obvious s tier builds 
I think that would only reap good benefits for the game. But I feel the class diversity has provided an outlet in the game for more players to try the different classes. You know what I mean? Like when you have diversity in all the classes and players know that and they see it, they want to try it. So you're not just playing the one OP build and then you're like, okay, that's it, I'm done. And you're not playing Diablo 4 anymore. Because there's so much class diversity than it's ever been in, in Diablo 4, I think this is providing repeatability and replayability with the players. I can't tell you, again, I can only go by what I read and what I hear from players on my live streams and I have every evening on my live streams, people coming in and telling me, I can't wait to try this other build. I've never heard that in my Diablo 4 stream. So that's a first. And it's providing replayability and repeatability to the players. And this is why, and it's another reason why Season 4 is so popular. It's another outlet for players to immerse themselves in. Now, honorable mentions. I want to mention a couple of things that I think need to be highlighted and are another reason why season four is so popular. So honorable mentions are two. Number one, the torment bosses, which provide players an opportunity for them to test their builds. And probably the highest test in season four is climbing the pit with 200 tiers is by far the greatest challenge players will face. So this is something, these challenges are things that players are looking forward to and is another reason why season four is so popular. But I want to mention one thing. The one common thread that touches all these points I mentioned so far in Diablo 4, and the one I believe is the sole reason why season four is being so well received is that D4 now has a chase. We are chasing things. What does that mean? It means that there's now purpose in Diablo 4. You're chasing that aspect you're missing. You're chasing the legendary temper manual you need. You're farming the pit because you need the mats to masterwork or you're climbing the pit to see how far you can get with your build. The point is, there is a chase, a purpose in the game now. And the best part is that the player controls what they want to focus on. This thought process, this thing, it's the fabric that weaves everything that I've mentioned and is the Another reason why I believe season four is so popular. Whew, that was a mouthful. Again, let me know if I've missed anything, but I do want to say one more thing before I go. And I want to highlight this comment. And the following is meant for Blizzard and directly to Blizzard. Now, Blizzard... You did things your way the first three seasons. Many of us warned you about all the issues and problems with the game. Heck, my YouTube channel, D4 Playlist, has it documented. And others as well. But you didn't listen. You thought your way was the better way and the only way. The launch and first three seasons is a poster child for how not to run a live service, in my opinion. Now, in season four, you changed. You finally conducted a PTR after all of us told you you needed a PTR. Since the launch of the game almost, you stopped micromanaging classes and builds. Well, sorta, you still need a little work on that. You placed a control of loot in the player's hands, bottom line, you started listening to the player base. And what was the end result? What was the end result? End result was season four. 
and Diablo 4 good? So I have one request, Blizzard, and that is, as you continue to build this game, please listen to your player base and what they're telling you. They are the ones playing your game and the ones who care about the game, like myself. So when you're making a major decision to the design of Diablo 4 and are on the fence of what to do, please ask yourself the following question always. What would our players want? And I assure you, if you do that, we will have more Season 4s in the future. Okay, everyone, that'll do it for my video. I just wanted to capture my opinion on what I feel is providing such joy to players for Season 4 and why many of us are having a great time. I personally, this is the first time in Diablo 4 that I actually am looking forward to playing all the different classes. This is the longest I've, since Season 1, this is the longest I've played a season in Diablo 4. And I know many of you are in the same shoes. And I know there's a lot of new players in Diablo 4. So I wanted to highlight what I think is, are the main reasons why Diablo 4 season 4 is the best one by a landslide. And I want to ensure that we continue this momentum and can continue to do W's. So let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think. What did I miss? What should be highlighted? What should be on this list? I would love to hear from you. And as always, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would help my channel grow immensely, and I would appreciate your support. And as always, we'll see you in Sanctuary. Thanks for watching. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.